Hello, it's Mike here from MusicRadioCreative.com and well, Christmas is just around the corner but also New Year too. You may be thinking about creating that perfect countdown. Let me show you how I would do it in Adobe Audition by whacking on my headphones and doing a quick voiceover into the microphone. So let's do the numbers from 10 to 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now the key here with your voice artist, if you're directing a voiceover, is to get them to say the numbers very concisely. So no drawn out 10 or anything like that, or three. It needs to be very concise and quick. So 10, nine, eight, just like I did there in that session. Now I'm gonna trim that up and drop it into the multi-track. I'll show you what I'll do to make this the perfect New Year countdown on the second as well. So it's actually in time. Okay, let's call that session time pull in the countdown and what I'm going to do first of all is just make sure that the 10 starts right at the start of the multi-track at zero. 10 and then I'm just going to move everything else. You see I'm following the ruler bar up here to see the second so one second is there which is where I'll bring in nine and then I'm going to chop this. What you could do to make this nice and neat and tidy make sure there's no clicks or pops or any kind of adverse sounds that you don't want is you can do that little trimming here with the fade in and fade out at the end and the start of each number. So I'm dragging eight now to be there. See that's on the second second and then here at second number three that'll be seven and so on until we get to one. Here we go. Let's do this very quickly and trim up the rest of these numbers and I'm placing them all so that they are exactly on the numbers there so it's it's counting down in real time exactly to the second so if you're timing up to say uh, the Big Ben chimes or the New Year countdown whatever that happens to be in your country you can time it exactly so here we go nearly done and just get this one on the seventh second that'll be three and then two in here so I'm just tidying up first of all. After I've tidied up, I'll show you a little vocal effect that you can apply as well. Okay, and that appears to be it. So now when I zoom out, you'll see all my numbers right there on B. And of course, at uh, 10, you'll probably do something fancy like bring in old Lang Syne or a big bang or explosion or fireworks. The creative choice really is yours. Okay. Now to go into my presets and add a little bit of processing. 10, nine, so you've got a big beefy voice and then the final step is just to go into, um, I'm going to go into rack 4 on my effects rack, get a bit of echo in here and I've already got a preset I like called Mic Echo and uh, what I like to do here is kind of pan it around the ears and in order to do this I might put the first delay time on 500 milliseconds and maybe just bring the feedback up a little bit and then the second one on 250 milliseconds so we got one second half a second, quarter of a second, and then the next number, and it's rotating around, particularly if we have echo bounce ticked. It'll bounce left, right, left, right. You'll see exactly what I mean when I play back this countdown in full to you now. Have a listen and enjoy. 10, 10, 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 6, 6 5, 5, 4, 4, 4, 3, 3 2, 2, 1. If you'd like more tips like these, subscribe to my channel.